Hey guys, this is Techo Freak here, and welcome to episode 17 of my Let's CS Custom Story Creation Tutorial for Amnesia. And today we're going to be doing messages. So uh, we're going to learn uh, we're going to learn today to how to uh, display messages to the player, so that at any instance, whenever you, the developer of the uh, of the custom story, decides to present a message, the player can see it just appear on the screen at any time in the game. So uh, that's that's what we're going to be doing today. It's not going to be it's not going to take too long. It's actually pretty simple to do so. But I'm going to do it at three instances in my map. Uh, three. Hmm. Uh, okay, maybe just two. Yeah, I'll just do it twice. Um, yeah, I'll do it twice. Maybe I'll do three and then I'll erase one afterwards. Just uh, because I, uh, I mean I don't really need any messages right now. Uh, Okay, I do I do have a good idea. Maybe we'll use this script area here to uh, to uh, display the message. That'd be a good course of action. Yeah. So we're gonna do three. We're gonna uh, we're gonna display messages. But before that, may I remind you that there is a new episode uh, 17 that HPS file for you guys to see. As usual, it's in maps templates and uh, episode 17 down here uh, my custom story is downloadable down in the description below or I will also put a link uh, to this file right here not to download but to view online which contains all the uh, links to all the other uh, episode uh, episode HPS files including 17 which is right here so that would all be available to you guys in the description below or you can just download the custom story and you can just get them all right here so, uh, yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and go back to our level letter. So I'm going to talk about um, what, are we, what, we're, what I hope to accomplish with these messages first. So, um, first of all, uh, over here, this note, I want the player to pick up this note, and then after he reads it or whatever, he closes it, and then the player starts talking to himself. The one in the game, uh, he starts, uh, a message will come up to uh, basically that will basically be kind of like narration but it was just a message that would be st uh, telling uh, uh, telling the player what's going on in the mind of the player in the virtual world of amnesia so uh, he's gonna pick up the note and then afterwards he's gonna be like uh, I should probably find the key so I can get access to the hall to go find um, to go find this person because uh, if you guys remember the note over here I wrote in the note, uh, where is it, uh, okay, when, when you wake up, head over to my room, the, we want, uh, we want, uh, we want to go visit this person, so the player is going to be like, I should probably find a key to, uh, to the, to exit my room, but I can't remember where I left it, I should go, I should go find it, so, putting up a message on the screen so that the player knows, um, we are eventually going to talk about quests, not in this episode, but you can set quests to the player so he knows what to do, what he's trying to do, rather than just sending him out blind uh, to do something. It's a little reminder, but uh, the quest will come in a different episode. First, I wanted to get this stuff out the way. Um, uh, yeah, so he's going to pick up the note, read it, and then he's going to be like, I should probably go find the key. Uh, that's the first message I want to I wanna put. Next, uh... uh uh, when he picks up the key over here, uh, that the monster spawns. So I want another message to be displayed as well, that says uh, I should, uh, I need to hide or something like that, because that's when the uh, that's when the grunt spawns and he has to go hide. So I'm going to put that there. And lastly, the last message I want to put is right after he steps out into the the hallway. Basically, want to I want to let the the player, the one that's controlling the player here, know which room. Uh, his friend or whoever it is that he's looking for it's still a mystery at this point he uh, to let him know what room he's located in so the moment he steps through the door a uh, message I want a message to appear when he steps in this area here saying uh, uh, I was like his room should be to the left of the hall so immediately the player knows that over here somewhere uh, the door over here should be the room that you're trying to get into adding another quest to the uh, to the the whole thing so uh, it's a good way to like lead your player on and with the addition of quests you can also uh, continue adding um, more like a, a more objective type of thing to the game to make it easier on the player to know what he has to do uh, after he finishes one uh, one objective or when he starts the game 
So that's what I plan to do. And uh, it's pretty simple to do messages. Uh, and I didn't want this episode to be too short, so I decided to put uh, three. So you guys to see, uh, I'm going to do two collide callbacks. So when he picks up the null, when he c picks up the uh, the key, I mean interact callbacks. When he, he picks up the key and when he picks up the note, and then a uh, collide callback for this script area over here uh to display the message so yeah let's go ahead and get started we every all the resources we need are on the map already i uh, just got to make sure i don't uh i don't uh screw up the names like i usually do uh so there's the note and the key over here the key already has uh, a callback to spawn the the grunt so that should be easy enough to uh implement but the note doesn't so we'll have to put that and then uh the script area also has its own its own thing and we can just use uh, what it has already so let's go ahead and go over to our uh, room01.hps file and start scripting some of this. Uh, yeah, so let's see. So first we have um, a callback here, a collide callback when the player uh, enters the timer area. So this is the one that we want to use. This is the one that correlates with uh, uh, this area right here. So uh, we, so I got to make sure that that's, uh, that's good to go uh, for the, the message and then we have the um, uh, set entity player interact callback which is the hallway door key and the monster spawn area. So this is what we want to do with the node as well we want the same thing to happen so let's go ahead and uh, get started on this so first we're going to need a line of code from the episode 17.hps file and that that one will be this one right here set message and we're going to need this one down here too uh, right here, uh, but you guys should. Uh, I'll, I'll show you guys that in a moment. First, let's go ahead and copy this and uh, put it where we want it to go. So, uh, okay, there we are. Uh, so, first of all, let's do the ones that are already on the map before before I create the uh, set entity player interact callback for the note when the player uh, when the player interacts with the note. Uh, I'll do that last. First, I want to get the ones that are already in here. So we already have the hallway door key. And we have the uh, create uh, the player interacting with the create timer area one. So uh, yeah, let's get started on this over here. The monster spawn script. This is what will run when the player picks up the key. If you guys remember that, hallway door key, monster spawn script. So we um, we want to add an additional uh, command in here in the very beginning, actually. So let's go ahead and paste in the set message command. And if this thing would go line up, that'd be nice. Okay, so uh, there we're gonna change this in a moment. Next is the uh, the uh, create timer area one. It will run this function here, create timer. So let's go down and find create timer. Here we go. So in addition to creating the timer, I want uh, uh, it to display a message on the on the screen. So let's go, just make sure we got that. So over here. Uh, when the player picks up that key, uh, create timer area is uh, ran run, and at the same time, along with all this uh, grun stuff, the player will also a uh, message will be displayed on the player screen when we fill that in, of course. And then over here, when he steps here, in addition to creating a timer, it will create a uh, a uh, it will display a message on the screen. Uh, lastly, it's going to be the so Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, before we even fill in uh, uh, any of this information, so uh, we're gonna need this whole set entity player and track callback. So let's go ahead and copy that, and we can just paste it right on there. But this time we don't want the hallway door key. We don't want uh, the player to interact with the hallway door key. We want it to be with the note. So let's check up the name of the note. The name of the note is note zero one. So let's go ahead and uh, put that in note zero one and we want something to run afterwards and we're going to do uh i'm not sure what we can name it no message we don't want to no message one because we're uh, we're going to display a message after uh after the player picks up the note so i guess that's an okay name and remember we're going to need this whole uh this whole uh string uh, and in as entity the format does matter so we're gonna need this certain one this is the one that we use for the key so I'm gonna copy the same one up here and we're gonna go ahead and put this somewhere let's put it all the way at the bottom down here and paste it right here 
and then we're going to go like this. Uh, the uh, curly brackets up, up and bottom to open and close. And um, we also got to change this to the name of hours up here, which is note message one. So let's go ahead and input that there. Note message one. <clears throat> um, okay, now that that's in there, we're going to uh, uh, space this out here because I like to space out all my stuff here. Um, and now this is where we're going to put the uh, the uh, oh, I forgot I didn't have it copied. Uh, we're going to put in the uh, set message uh, command right in here, so that after uh, after the uh, the after the uh, player interacts with the note with this particular note named note zero one, a uh, function will run which is note message one, and it will come down here. It will find it will find that it wants us to do this, so then it will display the message on the screen. All right. So now that we have all the things. Uh, going correctly now let's go ahead and go over to the actual english.lang because we had to set set some more stuff up before we can actually get to um get to uh, filling in this information let's go over to the extra english.lang and if you guys got the template from me uh from the, the custom story template from episode one uh, then you guys should already have this over here, which is category name, message one, message script name, your message. You guys should already have that in your um, in your extra English that language if you got it from me from episode one. Uh, so you guys don't have to do much from here. But if you guys don't, then uh, I recommend you guys view episode 17 at HPS online or download or download this custom story so you can get it. And uh, in here you can see uh, the same thing here uh, over here. Uh, I just I just filled out the information differently, but here it is. If you guys don't have it, you should get it. Just go follow the link, or go ahead and download the custom story, and you can get it. Uh, and yeah, so uh, we're gonna need this. So I'm gonna uh, s imagine that I didn't have this over here, this message one. You guys can leave it if you already have it, but I'm gonna imagine that I don't have it. So I want to make a new category in here. We have like a category for inventory, category for custom story main, category for journal, category for death hints. So we're gonna go ahead and create our own new category. But then I'm gonna copy this and uh, go ahead and paste it in here. So to create a new category, uh, which is uh, this is open category and then close category, uh, and then category and length file. So this is the uh, this is uh, the category we want. Uh, there's some there's some certain names for categories that you must have, such as like uh, inventory. I believe inventory and journal are mandatory. You must have that name in the uh, in the extra English dot lang, and there's no way around there, or else it just won't work. But there's some other things you can give a name, the category name that you want, and it doesn't have to be what you want. What you what uh, it doesn't have to be something like if we're gonna do message, we don't have to be like message. It could be anything you want. You could you can name it something random like soda. You could do soda, and when you uh when you're referring to it over here, you guys notice is a category and length file. You, here you would put soda. So it, it doesn't really matter what you put. You could put anything for messages. But I still like to see that it is messages. So I do message one. So the way I do it is for each map, I have it, my own category of uh, messages. So for like for the room zero one, if I ever make like a room zero two, I'd make a new category called message two with all the messages for that uh, for that room. So I like to do that in order to like separate uh, the messages, and I don't have all of them like piling up here. Unfortunately, you can't do that with these. But then again, you might have more messages than anything else in your uh, custom story. I know I did. I had a whole bunch of messages. So um, you guys might have a lot of those. So uh, so yeah. So I'm gonna name that message one because this is my first map, and I'm gonna name it message one. Uh, you could also name it like, uh, for example, room room zero one so then the category name is room zero one and you could put everything in there really up to you that's a good helpful way so you know the category name is the same name as the map so uh, I mean that's a good way to do it I'm gonna do message one and um, so this is just uh, the name of the entry that you're gonna make so here we're gonna make new entries to display a message and we need a name for that entry uh, because that's this is the one that's going to refer to from the uh, room zero one the HPS file, and then here you just type in the message you want to be displayed on the screen. Pretty simple. So uh, let's go ahead and give this entry a name. So um, 
I'm not exactly sure. Uh, let's call since this is the message is gonna appear when you got the note. I'm gonna put note message one, just like uh, just like the function. Uh, maybe it's not a good idea to put it. Uh, okay, yeah, that's, uh, I think that's fine. Uh, note message one, and then uh, this is the this is what will come up after he picks up uh, that note there. So uh, I want him to to uh, basically say out say out loud uh, where he where, where to go next. So I'm gonna say I should probably find the key to the hallway. Um, to to uh, to the hallway. Uh, to leave into the hallway. To leave into the hallway. But, but I can't quite remember where I left it, and and then uh, I should go find it. So uh, that seems like a good message. Let's just reread that. Uh, I should probably find the key to leave into the hallway, but I can't quite remember where I left it. I should go find it. So there it goes. You're just telling the player what they need to do, uh, and yeah, it should be done, no problem, uh, for the player to realize where he has to go. So um, let's go ahead and do another entry. So I should probably just copy this. Uh, we wanted to do three messages on the screen. So I'm gonna go ho go ahead and just copy this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and space this out and do it again. Since we want three in total, let's go ahead and erase uh, the stuff in here too much stuff in here go like that and then erase the last bit here okay so uh, now when the key uh, when the key when he picks up the key I wanted the message to display saying to run so uh, so maybe I'll do run message something like that no hide uh, to hide I wanted to tell him to hide so hide message one uh, too many e's, yes. Too many e's. Hide message one, and then lastly, uh, uh, no, uh, hallway message one. So that doesn't look too bad. Uh, so when he picks up the key, when he picks up the key, I want uh, I want the player to know that he has to hide. So I'll put something like, I need to hide. And exclamation point. And where did this come from? I need to hide. Okay. Uh, and how I met message. His room should be on on the left of the hallway. And that should be enough. His room should be on the left of the hallway. <coughs> uh, not to the left of the hallway. So uh, his room should be to the left of the hallway. Uh, so that should be good. That should tell the player where he has to go next. Let's go ahead and save this uh, extra English.lang file. Let's go back to our room and fill out the information we need for the uh, set message. So uh, first, let's just go down from top to bottom. So first one here, set message. Uh, so now uh, the first parameter here is telling you to uh, input the name of the category in the lang file. So you guys remember over here. Sorry, guys. I had to take a quick break. I'm back now. So, um, uh, yeah, I think I got cut off mid-sentence. So I was saying, uh, I was saying that uh, there was a you need you need to write the name of the category that's in the lang file. So over here in the extra English lang file, we put the category name for the messages to be message one. So over here, we're going to put message one. Let's go ahead and do that. And now the message script name. So this is the entry of uh, the entry in the uh, message one category, the entry name of it. So uh, the one, the one here for room zero one. This is the one for the key. So we want the uh, hide message zero one. So let's go ahead and copy that. Bring it back over here and replace this with uh, hide message one. And now uh, this is uh, this last parameter here is how long you want the message to be displayed on the screen. So uh, you guys are gonna probably have to um, fiddle with this a bit a bit to get it to the right time. 
I left it on five for you guys to five is an okay amount of time for it to be appearing so five seconds is how much I left it I'm gonna try it all five seconds and if I need to uh, reduce it I will also actually now that I remember I had to remove this timer because I had I had the timer set to uh, to uh, 10 seconds rather than 60 so let me uh, change this now before he spawns on me and scares me once again so uh, yeah so we changed this part right here message one hide message one uh, we did that so we want to do the same thing for the rest of them so here in create timer in the area we had set message so let's go ahead and change the category name we already know that one that one's message one and I full screened it and there it goes again there we go okay yeah uh, snap that back all right message uh, uh, one and it will be a uh, message script name and and this one will be uh, the entry name once again so for the uh, for the timer we it was a hallway message one so let's do hallway message one hallway message one displayed for five seconds and lastly is the one for the note so uh, the the category once again that's simple that's uh, message one and the uh, entry for the uh, for the message if you guys recall it is note message one so let's go ahead and put that one note message one and uh, that's going to display for five seconds so that should be it let's go ahead and give it the rundown and then we'll go ahead and start up the uh, map and check it out so when the player grabs the note there will be a uh, uh, set player interact callback that will run and that callback will be between the note 01 and the player so that is note 01 if you guys uh, remember that note 01 and then after it realizes this of uh, a function will run called note message one um, and down here um, <clears throat> note message one is right here so it's gonna go ahead and do this and it's gonna see that we it wants us to it wants us to display a message so the message will be um, uh, I mean it will it will realize that uh, it, it needs to display a message because we told it to and that message is under the category message one in the actual English dot lang file and the entry name under message one is note message one so it will look for that entry here and it's right here no message one and then it will display the text that's uh, in between these right here and that's what will happen and uh, this will be the same thing with the keys uh, when you grab the key over here uh, on top of doing all the stuff with the enemy it will also set a message to display on the screen which is hide message one and then uh, lastly for the uh, script area over here um, when he uh, when he enters, not only will the, the will a timer be made, but also a message will be displayed at the same time called hallway message one, and all of them will be displayed for five seconds. So uh, that's a rundown, and uh, let's go ahead and hold, 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 go over to our map, our custom story, and see uh, how this works. All right, guys, uh, here we are in our custom story once again. And so you guys remember when we pick up that note, uh, we should get a message to display up on the screen saying where we need to go. So let's go sit, go ahead and see. So we picked it up. When you wake up, head over to my room. Go ahead. And then there's the message. I should probably find the key to, to uh, leave into the hallway, but I can't quite remember where it is. Maybe leave it on the screen for a little bit longer. Well, that would be a good thing. Let's go ahead and grab our key. And then... Uh, Go ahead and unlock that. Remember, we do have our lantern now. Go ahead and open that. And grab our little uh, key over here. And then, as it says on the screen, I need to hide. So, let's go ahead and hide. And let's close this up. There he is. I'm just going to leave it open. No big deal. going to come at me, and poof. Okay. So uh, now we want to head into the hallway over here. And uh, go ahead and open that. So when we step into there, not only should the timer be created for the grunt to spawn, but also me another message should display saying that uh, his room should be on the left. 
Okay, so there he goes. So his room should be on the left of the hallway. So the player will immediately, most likely, will meet will immediately be pinned to go left and open the first door on his left. If we put a door, like for example, right here, the player, the first door, the player will most likely go to is this door right here to open. And when he realizes it's locked, then he'll have to head to any other doors that he finds in the hallway, which will be these rooms here. So, uh, yeah. That's it for this episode, guys. It's a pretty short episode. It's pretty simple, but something that you guys do need to know. Uh, I do use these messages a lot for like narrations, uh, but narrations you can do a different way. But I like this message a lot better. Uh, just my own personal preference. But uh, you guys can use it in many ways. It's up to you guys how you're gonna use it. Um, uh, and yeah, it's up to you guys how you're gonna use that. So uh, I'll see you guys in the uh, next episode. In the next episode, I believe we're gonna do uh, ambience music, playing music, and also playing sound effects. So this is all leading up to what some most people want to see, which is jump scares. So I'm hoping to uh, build that up and finally reach uh, jump scares where most people want to get to. Um. I've also been posting uh, less uh, less often than I uh, have been uh, in the past. I am slowing down the series a bit. Uh, uh, originally, when I re when I rebooted the series because uh, I was gone for nearly a year, and I rebooted the series. I felt that uh, I felt like I hadn't done a good job because I haven't I hadn't been posting it so long because I was so busy with everything. So I wasn't able to post every other every other uh, week or every other couple of days. Um, so when I got back, immediately first thing I wanted to do is reboot the series and continue shooting out episodes to you guys nonstop. So uh, when I got when when I got my free time, I started shooting out videos for you guys and giving you guys as many as I can. Now that it's been a while, I've started slowing down how long the videos uh, come, and I'm thinking maybe one video a week. I'm not quite sure. If you guys want to give me your input, go ahead and uh, uh, leave a comment in the description below. Uh, I'm gonna stick with uh, one video a week. The last video was exactly one week from today, so I'm hoping that the next video would be one week from today, and hopefully we'll get to uh, jump scares pretty soon too. But if you guys want to see it more often, please uh, leave a comment and let me know what you guys think about this, or if you guys think I should uh, post a little bit more frequently. But uh, I do have uh, I, I do uh, I do have limited free time still, but I am trying my best to upload these videos for you guys because. Uh, I enjoy showing everybody how to do this kind of stuff. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.